The Avengers are back. And I'm not talking about Marvel's Avengers. I'm talking about the classic, the iconic 1960s television series. And it's getting a remake. That's right. The television series that ran over across the pond in England from 1961 to 1969, starring Patrick McNee as John Steed, Honor Blackman as Catherine Gale, Diana Rigg is Miss Emma Peel, and Linda Thorson is Miss Tara King. From what I can tell here, and this is, I'm taking this from Deadline, Studio Canal, which owns the rights to the Avengers catalog, has been quietly plotting a reboot for some time, and a pilot has been written. Warner Brothers Discovery production outfit Wall to Wall is co-producing. Mickey Downey and Conrad K, the writing team behind the hit HBO BBC series Industry, has breathed new life into Patrick McNee's debonair secret agent John Steed and his glamorous sidekicks. That would be Honor Blackman, Diana Rigg, and Linda Thorson. Now, this is a series that I watched back in the 19, I want to say 1990s, 2000s. Um, this series was actually on in syndication, I want to say on like Nick at Night, um, possibly like BBC America. If you haven't seen the show, it's an excellent show. Now, they did try to bring it across the pond back to the United States. I think it was in 1968. It ran on ABC in primetime for a little while. But it just didn't work for an American audience at that time. Now, also to take note, in 1998, there was a movie called The Avengers starring Ralph Fiennes and Uma Thurman. And Sean Connery was the big bad in it if I remember correctly. Now, the movie didn't do too well as far as the critics, but it does have a little bit of a cult following. I I saw it. I thought it was okay. I think it could have been done better at the time, but but getting back to this article, uh, launching in 1961, the cult TV series ran for six seasons on ITV and later ABC in the U.S. So I was wrong. It did not run on the BBC and over across the pond. Sorry about that. Where it was one of the first British shows to be acquired for prime time by an American network. Patrick McNee starred as Steed, who fought off diabolical plots against the state with his trademark bowler, a hat, and umbrella. Not to mention his classic 1917 car. He had a succession of high fashion assistants played by the likes of Diana Rigg and Honor Blackman. By the way, both were Bond girls. They broke ground for being Steed's equal, holding their own in brawls and delivering playful quips. Now, I'm going to say this. If they are redoing this show... Do not make the female character a girl boss and make the male character a bumbling, stumbling buffoon. This show in the 1960s is proof positive you can have a strong female lead and she can be feminine. And not have to be a Mary Sue. Known for being glamorous, surreal, and often fanciful, this series became an escapist romp for millions of viewers merging the spy tropes of James Bond with the sci-fi elements of Doctor Who. This gets into the Avengers remake or the Avengers film from 1988 with Ralph Fiennes and Uma Thurman. 
And yes, it was a flop, savaged by critics, failed to break even on its $60 million budget, which <laughs> I'd hate to see what kind of budget they would try to throw on a movie like this now. Um, now, there was other attempts to revisit the brand. Shane Black, who directed Iron Man 3, revealed in 2018 that he had that he and writing partner Fred Decker were pinning a pilot for Warner Brothers TV. Uh, there was a spinoff series... Uh, I want to say in the 1970s that didn't go very, very far. Didn't do very well. I'm going to see if I can find it here. It's called, it was called the new Avengers. It lasted two seasons. Again, Patrick McNee starred as John Steed and, uh, Joanna Lumley was Purdy and, uh, Gareth Hunt was Mike Gambit. And, yeah, it, it 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 just didn't have the didn't have the qualities of the original, we'll say. So I found this interesting that they are remaking or planning on remaking and rebooting the Avengers. Again, not the Avengers that you're thinking of. There's not gonna be any Iron Man or Hulk or um Thor or Black Widow or Um Hawkeye in this Avengers. And there's even some positive comments here about uh, wish them luck. Even the Avengers took years to find itself, but it was magic that will be tough to replicate. Yes, it will. The chemistry be of McNee and Rig, the inventiveness of the stories, characters, wardrobe sets, photography, music. They will need some serious talent to come anywhere near to recapturing that. That I would agree with. Hated the 1998 film and truly felt annoyed at the wasted opportunity as well as the wasted cash. The only other time I felt like this was with morons from outer space. I was clearly the moron for seeing it in the first place. However, saw the film again last year and actually really enjoyed it. Uma Thurman was rubbish and looked bored throughout, but otherwise I found it great fun. Funny what time does. Just hope this reboot is good and respectful to the original. That's the main thing, folks. It's got to be respectful to the original. It's got to stay true to the tit-a-tay that Patrick McNee and Diana Rigg had. They had chemistry. It worked. And it's going to be tough to replicate that in today's entertainment, today's Hollywood. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's worth giving that a shot as a reboot? Comment down below. Share your thoughts. Share your opinions. While you're at it, Please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, TGIF, and I will see you later.